Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download a file off of Shapeways and then prepare it for printing. So a variety of my models on Shapeways, they are in one piece and you need to split them apart and then you can prepare them for printing. And to do that, you'll need to use, well, uh, you need to use Blender, which is a free 3D modeling program. And then you have to find a file on Shapeways You'll need to create an account, log in, download the product, and then follow my instructions. So let's go ahead and do this real fast. So first you're gonna download the product, and then on WinRAR or WinZip or whatever it is you are, uh, you're gonna go ahead and uh, unzip it. So open this up, grab your file, whatever, sure. Anyway, once you have the file, uh, you're gonna go into uh, Blender, and you're going to go to File, Import, and then Import STL. So let me just go to the uh, Downloads folder. Do, 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 downloads. Okay. And there it is. Now, the next thing you have to do is you need to, uh, by the way, to move around in Blender, uh, middle mouse button helps you rotate. Zooming in, zooming out. You press the shift and it helps you pan, just to keep you in mind. Anyway, so you're going to go to edit mode, which is here. And then you're going to press A, so you deselect everything. Actually, sorry, before you do that, Control Z to, un to undo what you just did. You press uh, Alt J, and that gets rid of all the triangles. Then you press the letter A to deselect everything. Then you go ahead and you press the letter Z to make things in X-ray mode. And then you go ahead, oh by the way, I have a print going on in the background, so sorry about that. Anyway, and then you go ahead and you uh, press Control, and you press your right mouse button, and then you just drag around the area that you want to have as an object, like so. Then you press the letter P, and that makes you separate the object by selection, which is this. And then, if you go to object mode again, like so, you'll see that this is now an individual object that you can uh, go ahead and take care of. So, let's go ahead and first set the origin to the center of the object. And then, you'll see now that you have an individual object ready to go. And you do the same thing with all of the other uh, parts of this uh, product. So, go to edit mode. Uh, control, do that, press P, selection, select this item. You select with the left mouse button or right mouse button. It's your preference. Uh, go to edit mode, select all the faces, like so. Mm -hmm -hmm. But yeah, so it's really, it just takes a little practice, but you know. Just carefully select all of the stuff, like that. Just like that. Really basic stuff. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to select the freaking thing right there, but that's okay. I can just select that. Anyway, press P, selection. Anyway, you get how this works. So I would separate that, separate that, separate that. Anyway. So, once you have separated all the pieces, you go ahead and select your object, your new object, and you press File, Export, STL, and just go to Downloads folder, I'm going to write uh, Test, Test, and then make sure you select Selection Only, just like that, and then Export STL. Now, in your 3D printing program, for instance, I use Cura. Uh, you go ahead and you open that, and uh, no, I'm not going to do that, and you go ahead and then file, let's see here, sorry, load, downloads, where's the test test, test test, and there is your object, and it's just a regular 3D printing tip, just, you know, make sure things are as flat as possible, uh, usually with most 3D printing programs, you just press the shift button and then it'll uh, freaking take care of it for you. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. And now you can print the individual object, 
you know, freaking add supports if you need to, you know, do what you got to do. This is an older program, but it'll still give you just what you need to do. But yeah, you just print your individual programs, and then you should be good to go. So that is how you take apart a Shapeways uh, file. So once again, quick recap. Uh, you find your file, you download it, you import the STL file after you've unzipped it into Blender. You go ahead and go into edit mode, select all the faces of the object that you want, press P for selection, and then export that object in object mode, bring it into your 3D printing thingy, and then that's basically that. I uh, hope that was helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, you know how to message me. I'm here on Twitter, on YouTube, everywhere where uh, I am MZ4250. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to do that stuff, or don't, whatever. It's all good. And uh, yeah, there you go. Hope this was helpful.